Welcome to my channel, Legal Jargon. I've devoted my channel for explaining law-related concepts and other current affairs updates relevant for cracking judicial services exams and other competitive exams. Please like and subscribe my channel for further updates. In today's session, I would be talking about bail covered under the Code of Criminal Procedure, 1973. Bail can be classified into bailable and non-bailable offences. In the case of a bailable offence, it is an offence which is shown in the first schedule of the Code of Criminal Procedure or is made bailable under any other law. Bail is a matter of statutory right in the case of a bailable offence when the police officer arrests without a warrant. Bailable offences are less serious in nature and are punishable with imprisonment up to three years. Section 436 deals with the procedure for granting bail in the case of a bailable offence. An example of a bailable offence is a fray punishable under Section 160 of IPC. In the case of a non-bailable offence, it is an offence which is and it is any other offence which is not a bailable offence. Bail cannot be granted as a matter of right in the case of a non-bailable offence and depends on the discretion of the court. It is of higher gravity and is much se more serious in nature, punishable with death or imprisonment for life. Section 437 and Section 439 deal with the procedure for granting bail in the case of non-bailable offences. An example for a non-bailable offence would be murder, punishable under Section 302. The definition of bail is covered under Section 2A of CRPC. The types, different types of bail are bail in the case of bailable offences covered under Section 436, bail in the case of non-bailable offences covered under Section 437 and 439, and anticipatory bail covered under Section 438. Bail to be granted in bailable cases is covered under Section 436. The essential elements of Section 436 are that a person must be accused of a bailable offence and must be arrested by a police officer in charge of the police station without a warrant. He or she must be brought before the court and must be told about his right to furnish bail. The person will be released upon payment of bail amount or sufficient securities. The court discharges an indig indigent person on execution of bond without sureties and by not taking bail. Execution of bond without sureties means that the person, the accused person will take a personal undertaking to attend to court regularly whenever called for and in the case of default, pay a sum to the government, a certain sum to the government. An indigent person the, is a person which the court presumes to be indigent if he fails to furnish bail within one week from his date of arrest. On failure to comply with conditions laid down in the bail bond with respect to time and place of attendance, the court may refuse to grant bail. Any subsequent occasion of not furnishing bail, the court will ask the accused person to pay penalty as per section 446. Bail in the case of non-bailable cases can be divided into two parts. Bail given by the magistrate under section 437 and bail given by the High Court and the Court of Sessions under Section 439. Several elements of bail to be granted in non-bailable offences under Section 437 are that the person must be accused or suspected of committing a non-bailable offence, he or she must be arrested by the officer in charge of the police station based on a warrant, the magistrate has to grant bail in, under Section 437 and not the High Court or the Court of Sessions. Under Subsection 1 of Section 437, bail is refused when an offence is punishable with death or imprisonment with life or a cognizable offence is committed and there is a previous conviction of such offence punishable with death, imprisonment for life or imprisonment for a period of seven years. There is a previous occasion or two or more occasions where a cognizable offence has been committed which is punishable with imprisonment ranging from three years up to seven years. Exceptions to granting uh, to refusal of bail under clause 1 and clause 2 of subsection 1 are 
a person below 16 years of age a woman or a sick person in such cases the uh, the court can grant bail clause 1 deals with offenses punishable with death or imprisonment for life clause 2 with offenses committed on previous occasions punishable with death or imprisonment for life or imprisonment for period of 7 years or uh, two or, or offenses committed previously punishable with imprisonment ranging from 3 to 7 years another exception to clause 2 is that when the accused shows a just and proper reason then the court can grant bail identification of witnesses cannot be a ground for refusal of bail no bail can be granted under sub clause 1 and sub clause 2 of subsection 1 without giving an opportunity of hearing to the public prosecutor when can further inquiry be conducted under section 437 at what and at what stage at any stage of investigation inquiry or trial a further inquiry can be conducted by the court provided there are no reasonable grounds for the accused for committing a non bailable offence then the court will conduct further inquiry under section 446a and pending the inquiry the person will be released on bail or in the discretion of the court or on execution of bond without sureties the court can grant bail under exceptional circumstances under section 437 subsection 2 when the accused has committed or suspected of committing an offence punishable with imprisonment extending up to 7 years or an offence falling under chapter 6 offences against the state chapter 16 offences against the human body or chapter 17 offences against property of IPC or committing an, an abetment of such an offence conspiracy or attempt to commit such an offence the conditions which are laid down under subsection 2 of section 437 are that the person has to comply with the conditions of the executed bond as to the time and place of attendance the person shall not commit an offence which is similar nature which is of similar nature the person cannot directly or indirectly make an inducement or threat or promise to any person already acquainted with the facts of the case preventing him from making disclosure of material facts to the court or tampering with such evidence the court can impose any other condition in the interests of justice under this section special reasons are to be recorded by the court while releasing a person on bail under subsection 1 and subsection 2 of section 437 refusal of bail under subsection 1 and subsection 2 of section 437 the person can be arrested or committed to custody the person will be released on bail when trial of a non bailable offence has not been concluded within 60 days from date fixed for collecting evidence the person in custody will be released after recording reasons in writing in the case of conclusion of trial of a person in the case of a non bailable offence and before delivery of judgment if there are reasonable grounds to show that the accused has not committed the offence or is not guilty then the accused will be released on execution of bond without sureties the high court and court of sessions can grant bail in non bailable offences under section 439 the person has to be accused of offences under chapter 6 offences against the state chapter 16 offences affecting the human body and chapter 17 offences against property and theft of the indian penal code to be granted bail under this section the high court or court of sessions have the power to impose any condition or modify or set aside any condition they have to give notice to the public prosecutor prior of giving bail and reasons have to be recorded in the case of not providing notice the high court or the court of sessions while granting bail in in rape and rape related provisions under section 439 has to give notice to the public prosecutor within 15 days from the date of receipt of bail application the presence of the informant or any other person is necessary while the hearing of the bail application is taking place the court of session of the high court may re-arrest the person who has been released on bail or commit him to custody section 438 deals with anticipatory bail which is to be granted in the cases of non bailable offences only the high court or the court of session can grant anticipatory bail under section 430 section 438 deals with the factors to either grant or reject anticipatory bail the court will look into the following factors the nature and gravity of the accusation whether the applicant has undergone previous imprisonment or conviction for a cognizable offence whether the applicant is about to flee from justice or there is an object of injuring or humiliating the applicant so that he is to be arrested 
based on the above of factors the high court of the court of session may either reject the application of anticipatory bail or issue an interim order for grant of anticipatory bail so on the rejection of the application for anticipatory bail or grant of or non grant granting of interim order the court will order a police officer in charge of the police station to arrest the applicant without a warrant upon the court granting anticipatory bail an interim order for anticipatory bail under section 438 not less than 7 days from the date of the interim order a notice has to be served along with a copy of the interim order upon the public prosecutor and the superintendent of police a reasonable opportunity of hearing has to be given to the public prosecutor at the final stage of hearing of the application the presence of the applicant is also necessary when the final hearing is taking place of the application court of the court of session can impose the following conditions while granting of anticipatory bail upon the accused person the person shall make himself available for interrogation as required by the police officer he shall not make any inducement threat or promise directly or indirectly preventing a person already acquainted with the facts from making disclosure of material facts to the court he shall not leave india without taking the permission of the court and any other condition granted under section 4373 the magistrate can also issue a bailable warrant for arrest of a person upon taking cognizance of the offence as per his discretion under section 4381 when he is of the opinion that anticipatory bail must not be granted